Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Karma Light Readings, I'm Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. If at any time, Scorpio, you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. The link to my website is in the description box below. I've seen all of your comments and I do apologize for just showing my hands uh, lately. I'm working on a few other projects and I tend to uh, uh, exhaust myself when doing face to face. I, I exert so much more energy. So doing it this way right now is just to reserve my energy for these other projects. I'm almost completed with them and I will come back to face to face very, very soon. Um, again, I think I said this, but if you resonate, go ahead and hit that like button. We're going to go ahead and get started my blessing and prayer and see what messages uh, the Holy Spirit has for you, Scorpio. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Father God, divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages. For Scorpio, in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path, I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as guidance and a higher wisdom and knowledge into any karmic cycles and soul lessons they may currently be going through. Wow, about to go through. Need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I strive to live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Somebody feels like something is slipping away. I don't know if it's money, abundance, a job, but it, that's what Spirit is showing me. All right. <laughs> the secret to getting rich is knowing that you already are and then acting like it. Do tell me who manages your assets and those gems. Are they real? See you in cans, the universe. Listen, in order for you to ever get to where you want to be, you have to believe it before you receive it. And this kind of seems to be a theme because I believe Cancer had that. And Libra's a little bit in that same energy too right now. But if there's something that you're wanting to be abundant in, you have to shift your mindset from lack to abundance. Prosperity is a state of mind first. How we feel on the inside represents our outside life. So until we work on and fix that, we're not going to see much of a shift. All right. So let's see the current energy that is surrounding you right now. Scorpio. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. You have the five of pentacles. So there could be something, maybe some of you lost a job here or lost some type of finances, or there's just a lot of lack here. Where does the Holy Spirit want you to be focused, please? Where should Scorpio be focused at this time? The Eight of Swords, wow. Your own illusions, what thoughts are keeping you stuck in cycles here? You definitely are feeling isolated, alone, and stuck. What are you struggling with? What is Scorpio struggling with at this time, please? The lovers. How does Scorpio overcome this struggle? This could be just partnerships in general, the way that you communicate with other people. Eight of Pentacles, okay, focusing on it one by one, really investing, putting in the effort, showing up for things. And your probable outcome here is the moon. All right, you have Hermit on the bottom, introspection, okay? You have the Spirit of Wands, which is the King of Wands. You have the Four of Cups, Death. Here you are with the King of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and then Chance, all right? I think that you're starting to reflect on some type of, or the light is being shown. You, I definitely feel like you're isolated right now and, and kind of separated, but there's this lack. And I, I feel like you're trying to understand why. Why do you feel like you come up empty handed and you want that to stop? You want to cut that type of energy out. 
Okay, there's somebody here who just feels like they, they're they lacking. Why is the Five of Pentacles here, please, for Scorpio? The Six of Swords, yeah. It's like I said, somebody feels like something is slipping away. But you are trying to move away from this energy of lack. Okay, somebody may have ghosted you. Feeling like the out, like you're on the outside looking in. Yeah, the King of Wands, not knowing how to take action on something. Six of Pentacles. How do I restore balance in something that feels like it's missing? See how you have five and then two sixes? It's like you want to realign something. Queen of Cups. What is this in regards to Holy Spirit? Yeah. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, uh, power. And then you have keys on a ring. So taking action and removing yourself from all situations that do not reciprocate the same type of energy or that make you feel like an option or that are just unconventional to what it is you're looking for. I feel like for some of you, there, there may be certain energy that surrounds you, that you're surrounded by, that's keeping you in this lack state of mind. And that's what spirit's trying to get you to break out of, right? Like you don't have to wait for the money to come. You have to act like it's yours now in order to start seeing the change take place in your life. All right. So where spirit wants you to be focused is this, this eight of swords. What is this energy that has you feeling stuck and trapped? Why do you feel imprisoned? What is making you feel like you can't move forward or that you're bound to something? Please clarify. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Nine of Wands. A lot of depression. The Page of Wands. And the tower, the revolution and justice. So there seems to be, somebody could be in jail right now. And that's what the stress is about. Like somebody's facing legal problems here. Um, and so there's like a lot of disappointment in somebody's immature actions and decisions in the past. And it's like now it's causing a tower moment. For some of you, Scorpio, this is in regards to intentions, right? Intentions can also be tied to spell work. For those of you that um, have were involved in a situation like that, it looks like somebody here... Um, you want to understand why you're stuck, why you're bound in a situation. I feel like you're about to have a, uh, an awakening into some type of energy or intention that has a hold on you that you have the ability to crumble and break free from, right? As soon as you make the decision and stop fighting with yourself over the truth. Wow. And I was going to say over the truth of the situation. There it is, the Ace of Swords. It is. It's over the truth of a situation. But I think almost sometimes you feel like it will be too much of a burden for you to address it and acknowledge it. So you just stay in it. And I don't know who I'm talking to here, but you don't realize that just kind of dabbing and not really touching whatever this is, is why you're not moving or is why you feel stuck. That's what this tower moment is going to be is a realization. Like you don't see something for what it is. Okay. This could be a person. But you're not seeing how stuck you are in this situation because you feel like you have it under control. But Spirit's like, but you don't, though, because it's got you in an in a energy of lack. Okay, clarify this, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, hammer, self-sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it, and self-indulgence. It's like you keep going into this energy of healing. Okay, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. But you don't go all the way. You just have it on the surface. Spirit's like, no, no, we, we're going to need you to go in, in. Especially because you have the moon here. Your struggles is with the wayfarer, which is the lovers. So you may struggle in relationships or you've been struggling with some of your love uh, relationships or relationship previously, okay, um, or currently. We tend to struggle when we're in the in-between phase of, of, of awakening to an, another cycle, a new level, okay? Because right now you're seeing all. You have all three of your eyes open. And I think sometimes that can cause confusion. Make sure you're calling in the most high. 
Four of Swords. So you're struggling too with some type of separation from somebody or or you're struggling with meditating and praying over a situation. Clarify, please. Why is the lovers a struggle for Scorpio? The Wayfair. Why is this a struggle for Scorpio? Seven of Wands. You have, you have a very, like you have a wall up, 100%. Yep, warrior of swords. It's like you fight everything that tries to come towards you. You don't even realize how much you're fighting something. Mm -hmm. Nymph of swords and the star. So there's an energy here. The struggle is... Also, the struggle is there may be more than one person. And that's why you're indecisive. But it's also like... You're creating a block in what it is that you really want. Either because of the way you're not communicating or the way that you are communicating. Because the lovers is also about a communication card. It's like you have so many like walls up. And I, I understand why you need to protect yourself and stand your ground. But this is like you're, con you're battling. You're fighting something sometimes that doesn't need to be fought. Why is this a struggle, please, for Scorpio? You're struggling with seeing the bigger picture. I feel like the divine keeps trying to give you messages after messages, and you're missing them. Like, you're missing all the signs. Because you don't believe it. You're not acting like it's yours. You're doubting it. So there's doubt. You have doubt in your faith. Ooh. Yeah, your struggle is the snake. And then, wow, you have self-indulgence again. So you've been betrayed. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And so that's the challenge is you can't break free from this type of situation or you can't break free from this energy. And so you were betrayed in a connection and you're struggling with moving on, you're struggling with releasing and you're struggling with knowing that you are worthy. Right? You're still stuck in the energy of what took place. Okay? How do you get out of the struggle is the Eight of Pentacles. You invest in yourself and you take the time to continue to work on it until you feel it is perfect. That's what introspection is. And yeah, it takes time because you're working with the Most High. You're working with divine energy and you are truly experiencing a spiritual, energetic, metaphysical, whatever word you want to use, change inside of you. And it not only changes the inside of you, it changes your entire life. That's how powerful these moments are of self-healing, right? And taking the time and really putting in the effort. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles, please, for how to overcome this, this, this struggle. It's investing, Two of Cups, putting in the time, the, the energy, and the investment that you want to working towards a relationship or working in a relationship to make something right here with the Two of Cups. So believing that you can heal it or believing that you deserve this type of uh, energy so that it comes to you. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You may want to go communicate with somebody, but this is you working towards your soulmate connection. This is you walking away from all of this other energy that's preventing you from having this type of connection with somebody. This is a journey you have to do on your own. The Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. This is clearing out karma. This is standing in your power and recognizing who you are. Yeah, the spirit of swords. Cutting out any untruths, any lies. Standing on the word. Standing on the truth. Seeing something for what it is. Allowing yourself to cut out what no longer needs to be, even if it comes from you and not an outside energy. Being able to really see and discern God's word, because it looks like you misheard him here. You know, no shade. We've all done that before, but you misheard him because it was a lack state of mind over here. Clarify this energy on how Scorpio can remove themselves from the struggle, please. Yeah. Take a chance. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. So look at you. This is you taking a chance and investing and working on yourself to remove this energy of self-sabotage. 
and being frustrated in relationships and feeling like you're not enough and allowing yourself to evolve and move to the next phase, all right? So you also have the moon here as your outcome. So there, there are some hidden emotions that are rising to the surface. You need to let those rise so that you can push them out so you can get into this energy of knowing that you are going to receive what it is you have asked for and what it is you envision for yourself. Yeah, the five of wands. You got to fight through the muck, okay? You're like in the trenches, in the swamp. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Your reward is this abundance. Your reward is unconditional love. Your reward is loving yourself so that you can bring in that energy to yourself. Temperance, wow. Controlling your emotions. Look at that. And as soon as you learn how to temper yourself and control yourself and have patience and experience alchemy and growth, you call in a very firm and stable, committed soulmate. Six of Cups. It's amazing how that works out. Holy Spirit, please show me closing messages for Scorpio. Please show me closing messages for Scorpio. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure future. But look, you have to go through this separation to heal your emotions. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or an addiction. Somebody's going to come after you though. But this is something that's necessary. It's like this, this separation is necessary so that you can fill your cup, so that you can bring in that abundance. Clarify, please. Closing messages. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-work, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Scorpio, thank you so much. I'm sending you much love on this journey, and I look forward to hearing from you.